Oh, uh, Vicky, I, I've watched the the other programmes. This one goes out on Monday. It's clearly a very emotional watch, yeah. It is. It's a very real watch. It's very emotional and it's joyful. Um, you know, everybody that's here today, not just the choir, their carers, their family members, Benji the dog, <laughs> they all matter, yeah. you know, and everybody is yeah. affected by this. And what was so important today was that there was somebody here on the panel living with dementia and Julie speaks so beautifully for us all the time. Thank you. Yeah. Um, Thank you. That I wanted you to hear it yeah. from, yeah. Yeah. you know, Julie. And Julie, you're the, the youngest member of the choir. I, I am, yes. Yeah. yes. Can I ask you when you were diagnosed? Um... 2017. Right. Wow. Just in your late 40s? Yeah. yeah. Wow. What, how did you become aware? I mean, because I know you, you were doing a very high-pressure job yeah. in a council. Yeah, I, I, I worked for the council and I've always had a job where you have to look presentable um, from hairdressing to working in the hospital. And I got as I, I couldn't do my hair and uh, I couldn't work out what kind of clothes I'd needed to put on for certain days or sure, meetings. Yeah. And I was having to get my daughter to set me out a week's worth of clothes. Um, so I knew, down, down to my underwear, you know, and I, my washer, I couldn't use my washer. I hadn't got a clue. Um, so I decided, I took it on myself to nip off to the doctors. You know, I was, I was getting a little bit worried. Um, and so I had a little test in the doctors and he sort of, no, you've not passed that. So I went off to another place to have another test and again, I failed that. And that's when I then went off to the hospital. But uh, all in all, it took just over three years to right. get a diagnosis. Wow. Three, years? three years? Oh yeah. my goodness. Yeah. <clears throat> I was tested for everything. Um, you know, I'm, I'm raring to go with everything else. Yeah. Just. The brain's gone on holiday. But you knew, you, you knew, obviously, yourself, I, I knew, that I need I to knew, keep going. So I how knew. did you feel when you finally got the diagnosis? I was relieved. Oh, really? Yeah. I, I cried, but it wasn't tears of, oh, my God, I've got this illness. It but explained it was, to you it what explained it explained to it, yeah. everything mm. to me. I totally understood why I was feeling mm. this way. And... I, mean, I, I guess the doctors probably weren't looking for it because even no, doctors exactly. have this idea that it I mean, is something that happens to older people. There's 150 types. Yeah. Mm. You know, there's so many different types of dementia. And you can speak to anyone of the choir. Getting a diagnosis <laughs> is not easy. No. And it's really frustrating because as much as Julie doesn't want it, the fact that she knew she got that meant that she could recognise the support that she needs yeah. and yet the support isn't that we there. really need isn't out there, no, yeah. out uh, there. which we're touching on. And that's what you really want to get home in this latest yeah. documentary, isn't yeah. it? That you want well, a, a change of policy. Yeah. That's yeah. the kind yes. of problem. You can go to certain areas and that's the place to go and get diagnosed and then you can go to other yeah. areas and, you, and once you get diagnosed, you can't get any support. Mm. You can't get but any support Julie, you, uh, being in the choir, how has it helped you? I Massively. Mean, yeah, tell me what... what just, just being with people that totally understand what we're going through and how it feels, yes. you know, and you don't f kind of feel um, on your own. Yes. You know, with Vicky and everybody, we're a family. Yeah. You know, when we support each other, we look after each other. When we're having a bad day and we're at the choir, we can pull together and we'll, we look after each other. It's great. And Vicky, you started the choir, really, in memory of your nana, Iris? Yes. Who, yeah. had, who had dementia? Yeah, my, my nana had dementia. She had vascular dementia. And my mum, um, you know, it was a very confusing time, first time we'd ever really come across it. But it, she'd started to lose her speech, so music became the way of communicating. And it really did. And, you know, from then on, after meeting the choir and setting that all up, we actually delved into that scientifically. You know, this isn't just, oh, this is nice, let's yeah. sing a song. You know, we challenge the choir, um, the challenges that we put them through, just even today being here, <laughs> you know, it's like they've got their lives to live, there's lots to do, yes. and we, you know, we want to make sure that they sound brilliant, and we've got people like Mark Delissa, who's, you know, the best choir master in the world. And Daniela. <laughs> and Daniela, of course, yeah. who's, who's also, you know, part of the choir family, and we want to make <clears> sure that they sound great. Because mm. they, they've all got a passion for music from previous times, whatever, you know, Kev was in a band, lots of people were musically connected anyway. Yeah. Um, so it's not just about whacking the radio on, no. yeah. you know, it's music therapy really is something that 
if we can get government and people in power to actually make sure that if a GP says, right, you've got dementia, but these are things that can really help, holistic yeah. help, and yeah. music is definitely a massive definitely. part of yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. It's clearly much more than a TV project for you. Oh, yeah, case. this is lifelong, for sure. Yeah. 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 Well, it's the UK's biggest killer, and we have no cure, and that's yeah. the hard The UK's the biggest killer. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah. 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 Well, we're, we're really looking forward to, to hearing the, the choir, which uh, we are going to do very shortly. And, uh, Julie, can I just thank you very much That's for coming right. can and, I, and speaking? Can I just say to you, um, we don't suffer with dementia. We live, live with yeah. dementia. Yeah. 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 Dementia lives with You know, um, and I think... I think we did use that expression, uh, yeah. Julie, and, and I absolutely take that correction, and you're absolutely yeah. right, so I'm Thank glad you. that you said that. Thank you Thank very you. much indeed.